had a student today ask me, why can we use the trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent? So this is not going to be a proof of any kind, but uh, it just kind of gets you in the, just gets you to the point where you can kind of understand what's going on and why it works. So first off, you got to understand some properties of proportions. A proportion, pretty simply, is A over B equals C over D. Uh, two ratios set equal to each other. That's a proportion. Now the, that proportion, if you uh, did common denominators, would be AD equals BC would be another way to write it. Uh, some of sometimes you think of that as cross multiplication. Um, you could flip it. You could invert both of them and have the same thing. So B over A equals D over C. So all of these proportions are equivalent. And then the another one you could do is you could do A over C equals B over D. So just something we're going to need here in just a second. So you've got to have all of these proportional ideas, you know, think proportionally when you do this. Because trigonometry and sine, cosine, and tangent specifically come from um, similar triangles or similar polygons. So here's a couple of triangles. Um, one thing I'm going to show you is that this indeed is 36.87 degrees and this and this is 90 and so this one is 53.13 degrees. So these two triangles are similar because all of the angles are congruent. But if you notice we've got three and six here and this is a three four five I just I'm just going to get you started here with a Pythagorean triple and so if we didn't know that this side we'll just call it X and this is Y and let's say we didn't know those sides well I've always been taught to set up a, a set of proportions so like we're going to say three to six which is your scalar factor um, doing the small triangle to the big triangle here is the same as 4 to x doing again small triangle to big triangle and again if you cross multiply or, you, or come up with a common denominator you'd have 3x equals 24 and so we know x is equal to 8 if you take 24 divided by 3 and then also same for y 3 over 6 equals um, 3 over 6 equals uh, 5 over y. And again, if you cross multiply, 3y equals 30, and so y is equal to 10. You might ask why I'm doing all of this. Well, we also know if you do this that, uh, and I'll extend the page just a little bit, we also know that sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. Tangent, uh, well, cosine theta, well, we can just, I already started. <laughs> Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. And cosine theta is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So A over H. So if you don't know the trig ratios, there they are. And if you pick, um, if you, if we pick our, an angle, so let's just go with this 36 degree angle in both triangles. And knowing that now, since we know that we have 8 here and 10 here, uh, we're no longer concerned about um, X and Y. We've figured that out. You can go in here and 3 to 6 is the same as um, 4 to 8, which is, is 1 half. But using our proportional reasoning, 
we can also reason that as 3 to 4 is the same as 6 to 8. Okay, thinking of those properties of proportions from before. And 3 over 4 in our relationship is opposite over adjacent, which is tangent. 6 over 8, again the same, opposite over adjacent. Okay. Um, for this one, 3 to 6 is equal to 5 to 10. So instead of y, you can also write that as 3 over 5 equals 6 over 10. Well, 3 over 5 is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, which is sine. So this is the sine ratio. And 6 over 10 in this triangle is also the sine ra ratio. And notice they both reduce to, in this case, they both reduce to 3 fifths or 0. 0.6. So the sine of 36.87 is 0. 0.6. Tangent, tangent of 36.87 is approximately equal to 3 fourths. If you went with more decimals, the closer to 3 fourths you'd come. And, and it's the same in both triangles. Both of them are the same. So there's one example. So let's take a look at um, kind of a, a, a whole bunch of examples at once. Like I say, I'm not going to prove this. I just wanted to show you why it works. It all works because of similar triangles, what I just showed you there, and proportion, and the properties of proportions. But if we take a look at this, and uh, we have a being 24 degrees and we keep a as 24 degrees notice this sine 24 is d over c which is opposite over uh, hypotenuse which is 4.07 is the length of d 9.96 is the length of c um, I could uh, put those in object properties let me put that uh, let me put that value in there so you can see it. And uh, so there's that 9.6. D similarly would be 4.07. A would be 9.09. Um, .09. And you can see cosine is A over C, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangents opposite over adjacent, which 4.07 over 9.09. .09. And take a look at these. And these third numbers are just when you divide them. So no matter how I shrink or expand this, those ratios remain constant. So sine of 24.1 is always 0.41. Cosine of 24.1 is always 0.91 in a right triangle. No matter how big or small I make it, if that angle is 24.1 in a right triangle, these ratios remain constant, sine, cosine, tangent. That's really why we can use it. Now if you change the angle, so let's change it to maybe uh, 28 degrees. So in that case, um, now my sine, sine of 28 degrees approximately, 28.07, is 0.47. Um, cosine is 0.88. Tangent, is, tangent of 28 is 0.53. Again, notice how these numbers have changed. But if I ex shrink and expand that, these side lengths change, get smaller and bigger. But when you divide those ratios, they stay constant. The, the ratios are always the same number. Because these are, I mean, I didn't just put 0.47 here. That is 3.14 divided by 6.67. That is 0.47. No matter how I change it, those ratios stay the same. And we could change it to a different angle, maybe around 11 degrees. Again, you know, sine of 11.21 is 0.19. And again, I'm rounding some decimals here on all of these. But this just shows you dynamically how no matter the 
size of the triangle, if you've got a right triangle and it's 11.21, sine is 0.19, cosine is 0.98, tangent is 0.2, no matter the side lengths. And so that, uh, that pretty much does it. That's why it works. That's why sine, cosine, tangent work. And uh, so if you want to use it, you know, I've only been shown that once in my lifetime. I've had a professor take the time to show me that. Today I had a student ask, and I thought it'd make a great video. So hopefully it helps somebody else. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.